Hey y'all, welcome back to the GG Outdoors channel, guys. In today's video, I have a review on my Lancer Tactical 22 caliber brake barrel air rifle, guys. I have the model number right down here for you guys in the picture if you guys want to see it. Okay, Lancer Tactical is an airsoft company out of California. And just this year or the past year, they released their first ever brake barrel air rifle. And this is what I have for you guys to show off today. Now this isn't a 22 caliber like I already said. They also have a .177 caliber version. They have a black synthetic stock version and then they have this Realtree camouflage stock version. Now the one I ordered was on Amazon for $105. The black synthetic version is going for about $75 and you can get these with a scope for about $130. I did not order the one with the scope. Now guys, these have a plastic um, rear, rear sight here, okay, fiber optic rear sight that's adjusted for windage and elevation. This one does sit a little crooked. I have a picture right here for you guys to show that, but it doesn't seem to shoot bad with the shots that I've taken off camera. But it also has a hooded front fiber optic sight as well. Now Lancer Tactical claims that this shoots a thousand feet a second in 22 caliber. So by knowing that, I know it's probably in the high 700s, low 800s FPS. Okay, now this gun is made in China. Okay, it says right here, made in China, 5.5 millimeter, 22 caliber. All right, it has a really nice looking plastic flip safety right here. Okay, where it's at right here is on safe. Okay, you flip it over and it's on fire. It is not automatically. Uh, it's not an automatic reset safety. Also, it does have a scope stop right here too. Now, like I said, this can take a scope. It's got 11 millimeter dovetail grooves in it to put a scope on here. Um, it is spring powered, okay, not nitro piston. So we are going to shoot this air rifle here and test it out. I went and bought some Lancer Air hollow point pellets to shoot out of this gun just to see how they perform. Here's what they look like. Okay, $10 on Amazon. Okay, it came with um, 250 pellets. It came in a plastic tin, which I've never had a plastic tin before. Okay, now, um, before I show this off, these are European made pellets. It says made in Europe. Where exactly, or what company that makes the pellets for Lancer Air, I'm not sure. I am guessing H&N. Do not quote me on that, but that's what I'm thinking. The pellets look really, really nice. And uh, here is what the pellets look like. So guys, I'm going to pause the camera, move this chair, and we're going to shoot. Now, I do have my GoPro with me. It is currently raining, if you guys cannot hear this. Okay. Um, so when I, I have my metal squirrel target down here that we're going to shoot at initially and then I also have a little tiny Lancer tactical airsoft BB gun metal spinning target down there and uh, we're going to shoot at that but it's so small I have it at like 7 yards so that way I actually have a possibility of hitting it so yeah, I'm going to reset up the camera and we'll shoot at the squirrel and see how well we do. Alright guys, so I have my GoPro down there watching the squirrel target. But this thing is extremely lightweight for a 22 caliber air rifle. Okay, not the easiest thing to break down. Uh, let me open up this tin of pellets real quick. Um, some of these pellets have actually fell through the barrel. So I don't know about the sizing of the pellets that well. But it's only happened like twice and, uh, and the barrel is still hard to shut. Because I've only shot this thing like four or five times. So here is the first shot on the squirrel. Hit. That's awesome. You can still smell the chemicals in the barrel from it, easily. Oh, come on, here we go. 
things that way. Like I said, some of these belts fit a lot easier in the barrel than some of them do. Rooster, check the top. Fit. Like I said, the barrel's still kind of stiff to get shut. Hit. That's awesome, guys. Let's go check out these shots and see how we did. Alright, guys. So, not too bad, guys. Look, we hit some bullseyes in there. And they're hitting pretty hard in there. That's awesome. Hit a couple bullseyes. Alright, y'all. So, here's what we're going to go for next. Like I said, we are not very far away from the ports because these are very, very small. Do I think I'm going to hit the Lancer Tactical Target? I don't know. But we got a chicken, a bird, a hog, and a ram down there. Pretty cool looking. All right, y'all. So I've got the GoPro down there kind of off to the side watching the Lancer Tactical uh, Spinner Target down there. This whole video is all Lancer Tactical today. Um, I actually had to move it because I didn't want to accidentally shoot my GoPro here away. One thing I said, this is not an automatic setting safety, so it was still on fire when I loaded that. So here we go with the first shot. I think I'm gonna go for the bird. Nope, I missed. This may be impossible to hit because the front blade sight pretty much covers up the whole target this part's just for fun all right second shot oh right over the top of it i saw the leaves behind it move all right Shot. Come on. There. Good lord. Chicken. Oh, I need to aim a little bit lower. All right. Last shot. This little tiny target. again all right guys well i'm gonna go back out to the squirrel and try to hit the squirrel some more all right y'all so i know i said i was gonna shoot the squirrel some more but i'm actually gonna go inside my hands are getting cold here's a little target again that i was trying to hit not very big really hard to hit cool little lancer, tac lancer tactical target spinning target metal um bought it for like 15 bucks on ebay i'm pretty sure you can find it on amazon too um the gun itself, the only thing I wish it had was a resetting safety. I really, really like this gun. Um, the only issue was the front blade sight being a little, um, or the rear sight, sorry, being a little uh, crooked. But other than that, it shot the squirrel just fine. Lightweight, hollow, synthetic stock, really comfortable. Um, had a couple issues trying to shut it. I think that'll change the more I shoot it, as you guys could tell. But uh, I don't see any issues with it whatsoever, as far as shooting and being accurate and all that stuff. 
but more testing to come on this thing, guys. As far as the pellets go, I know it's turned into a whole review on everything. Um, some of the pellets I don't think are sized right. I've had two of them, they fit real loose in the barrel, and like I said in the house, I had one fall through the barrel. But other than that, they seem to shoot just fine by Lancer Air. So, y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Remember Jesus loves you. Remember to push, pray until something happens. Do I recommend this air rifle? Sure, I do. I like it. Spring power, easy to use. Not bad. So remember, y'all, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.